Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM onto your Windows mobile phone. Uh, if you're not already there, go to our site, TheUnlocker.com, spell it like that, and then search for the load, how to load a custom ROM on your Windows mobile phone. Okay, before we begin, make sure that you've downloaded Windows Mobile Device Center, whatever the latest version may be at the time of this, it was 6.1. Um, Windows Mobile Device Center is only for Vista and above. If you have uh, an older version like XP, then you need to download ActiveSync. Uh, you can find both of these by Googling or by going to Microsoft.com uh, and searching through their downloads. Okay, next thing to do before you begin uh, is to remove the memory card from your phone. for our phone and then download the latest radio okay now that we have the latest radio we're going to extract it okay then once it's extracted open the folder other folder and you're gonna find a ROM update utility and a uh, .nbh file for your phone just leave that as is. So long as these two are in the same folder, you're ready to begin. And you just double click the ROM updater. And you're gonna get a screen kind of like this. Just again, follow the steps. Um, once it's done, it should reboot. It may ask you to do certain things. Just follow the instructions as they're written. They're pretty simple. Um, and then we're ready to go on to the next step. Okay, once we've loaded the radio, now we're gonna go on to loading a ROM. So again, we're gonna go to our Windows Mobile uh, ROMs download section. Uh, find our phone and then choose from the available ROMs. Um, if you want a ROM that's not here, uh, we're actually gonna be putting a little search, uh, a custom Google search here at the top that will only search pages 
that have ROMs on them. So you can use that and it's a quick way to find a whole bunch of new ROMs, any ROMs that have just come out or other ROMs that we just don't have listed. The ones listed are kind of the ones that are our favorites. Um, so you know, up to you if you want to use these ones or the ones from the search. Now I'm going to choose one for this phone. Now with CDMA phones you're going to notice some of them say for Verizon or for Sprint, etc. Um, so just make sure that you get the right one. I'm going to do the, this one. Okay, and then I'll just click the download link and wait for that to download. Okay, once we've downloaded the ROM, and well, we picked one that we liked and we downloaded it, we are going to, as always, extract, and open the folder that it extracts to, the folder inside that one, and then again, same as always, we have a .nbh file for our phone, and we have the ROM update utility. Don't worry about any of the other stuff. Uh, the only thing we want here is to double click the ROM update utility. And then we're going to just follow the procedure. Uh, once you're done here, the phone should eventually reboot and you'll have your latest ROM. Uh, and then that's about it. After that, we can do a few things on the phone to check to make sure everything's working correctly and we're all set. Okay, once you're done, you should have your new ROM running on your phone. Um, Good thing to do though, as soon as you get it running, go to your Internet Explorer and make sure that you can connect to the Internet. If you're using a CDMA phone um, and you used a ROM specific to your carrier, then you should be fine. Um, otherwise, if you're using a GSM phone, for instance, um, you will probably have to put in your Internet settings. You can find these on our support page um, at theunlocker.com or just Google for them and you'll find them. Um, and that's it. Enjoy.